Oh, oh, there you go, there you go. Oh, there he is, there he is. There he is. Did I get anything else? Everybody. Welcome back to another Addicted Fishing video. Today, we're out here with a new man, Brandon Powers. And that did not take long. We're all the way out to 150, 60, 70. He's a winner. He's a winner. 190, 200, 206, 210. He burned you. What are you doing? 220. He'll kill a five right now. Yeah. Not a seal, though. Oh, I broke a sweat. <laughs> Wasn't prepared for this. Oh, back to 150, 60, 70. Jesus, Moses. So we, this fish might either be one of the biggest ones I've got this year, or a seal might have it. But usually when a seal grabs these fish, you'll feel it gain a lot of weight and a lot of momentum really quickly. And this thing instantly was hooked and then gone. Yeah, it was like two head shakes and then out to 200. Uh, Is that a seal? I don't know yet. Yep. The big fish though. Oh no, that seal got it, dude. Hold on, take it. Right, seat. right. Just keep on and keep the pressure on. We'll let it go if we keep doing it. What we're doing trying to get right on top of the seal because they need to come up for air. And if, unless they actually rip this fish off the hook, we keep him under the water, he'll eventually get tired and let go of this fish. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. There's still hope. <laughs> Start the day. He's, gonna, he's, he's about done, I think. That seal's getting tired. Yeah, he let go of him for a second there already once. Yeah, I'm in a completely different spot this time. Yeah, right here. Top. He keeps trying. We're to looking for a way to make this episode interesting. Honestly, I think it was a half. It's a really good fish. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with going at it as long as you want to. That don't, don't bother me none. I'll let uh He ain't on it, he ain't on it, he ain't on it. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Fish is all wrapped up. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on, bastard. He's back on it. I think we're alright. Yeah, he don't have it. Damn it. No, no, we're good, we're good. Get ready, get ready. Oh he came off. Fish came off. Oh, oh. So what happened there, guys? I can see. Did you see how the fish was playing in? I think it was snagged. I think it eventually come off. That fish had gotten hooked in the belly. Yeah. And, and it then, finally, because oh after I was pulling there, I wasn't. They're, they're all. Let's uh, get the rods up. Let's run back up and get back. Oh, he no, he found it. He's right there. He just came up with it. Oh my god, yeah. dude. Woo. Well, we almost had him. Heartbreaker. Good yeah, dude. We fought hard always right here. Fought hard for that one. First fish of the morning. Stolen by Mother Nature. Okay. That's it. Oh, come on, not another one. No, 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 no. It's a no. fish. Got a 41 right now. 
Oh. No, 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 no. Gaining on him. Gaining on him? Gaining on him. I feel some head shake going on. Oh. Oh my god. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey. Get off the fish. Get off that fish. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yes. Keep, oh, hey, keep horsing. Oh, I heard that keep one. Keep horsing. Keep horsing. Here we go. Horse it, horse it, horse it. And? Good fish. That heart's too long. One of the Ned's worth. Two on the line. <laughs> Nice little hand. Woo! First one on the boat. First one beating the seal. Beating the, beating the seal. seal. We're out here beating <laughs> seals. Beating seals up. I wonder if it beating was seals and ripping seal. gills. That's what we do. Oh, Let this guy out. Don't throw the lead at the pod. <laughs> His new little home. There you go. There, there it is. There it is. There it is. Seal time. It's right here, buddy. <laughs> Best. You almost wanted to give it to me. Oh yeah, nice and good. We are three in the house. Woo! Good job, brother. Yeah. Watch out, bro. Little. Well, did he choke on it pretty good? Yeah, oh, yeah. Bleeding. Stitch. He was in there. Brad super baits. You bet. Come so back. all we're using today, the entire boat is outfitted with the super baits. Super we stuffed these with tuna. Nice and stinky. And obviously, they're getting it done. The seals even like them. The <laughs> seals love seal that. Yellow. 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 Answer the phone. At home. He's here. Uh, Jackie Chan. Yeah. Jackie Chan ish. Oh, it's a coho. Is it? Yeah. Little. <laughs> <laughs> little change of pace. We gotta be First coho of the year. That's pretty early. I'm just gonna dump this right back in. It's full bait. Yo, fill that. Uh, restuff all those. Okay. Now we're talking. It smells like fall to me. Oh yeah. Beautiful little coho, little a runner. Well, these things will start working their way up river. There's really a really only heard of a few of them caught, but these things start working up to these lower tributaries in the Columbia really early in the season. Oh, 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 there we go. oh God. No, he's not. He's not. Anyways, got one. Sean's turn. Sean's turn. I'll feel it. Way to go, Sean. That's all. See the comments below. Way to go, Sean. Oh, God. He's a screamer. He's a screamer. Someone come get it, Sean. Party, party. He's at two. 35 right now. <laughs> well, that was cool. I don't know if we got that on camera, but as he lost that that first one, we look back and this bow or this the stern rod went almost from zero to hundred and out the boat. He's like right here. Oh what a beautiful oh, nice wild. Nice job. A little while. Dooley. Big, big dooley. Stinky. Big stinker. Oh, wow. Big cool looking fish, though. Wow, look at that face, everyone. One only a mother could love. <laughs> look at that thing. <laughs> look at the fin on that thing, dude. Stinker. Oh, wow. yeah. What a kicker on it. Later, dude. Woo! Oh, there he is. There he is. Right behind him. Get it, George. Get it, George. Just out here showing off girlfriends hooking fish. <laughs> That'll do it every time. That'll do it every time. 
Quick bite. Okay, get in here. I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna trick him. Yeah. It's a wild one. Wild one. Well, first wild or second wild fish. That is the first one that we probably could have kept though. It's not a tule. She's a beauty. Catch him tomorrow. Pretty. Oh you man, betcha. not a spot on him. Like literally no spot That's on him. Beautiful. Later. See you later. Oh, All right, back to checking out babes. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go. Give up. Oh, just oh, popped. No. Literally just popped. No, let him get that off. Guys, we need to get. Huh? Yeah, buddy. Go ahead. Oh, 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 that's a big one. He's right here in the circle. Oh, oh. That might be another big one. That might be a big coho. That might be a big coho. Yeah, that was a weird little. That looked coho. It was like white. It was, a, it was an interesting bite. It kind of like slap, 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 and then buried it. Yep. Wild wild. Go over no, well, I was wrong about just about every part of that. <laughs> <laughs> he tried getting bigger on you too. <laughs> he got all three of them in him. Oh my goodness. Suicidal, dude. What are you doing? Sea lion was falling us the whole time. We thought we were the hunters. Turns out we were being hunted. Middle, out of the way. Oh, he just let it go. He just let it go. Here he goes. Oh, wild. Cash. Wild. Got him good. So you can see on that fish's tail where that sea lion had grabbed it. Luckily, he let him go. I'm surprised he let him go. Actually, I think he might have lost him. And that fish is just so big and strong, it made it away. That thing damn near was dinner for a sea lion. It'll stay out. Oh, that is a big ass. That is a big ass. I understand what Oh, I'm chasing him. Oh, yeah, coho. Yep. Yeah. Fighting hard. Oh, oh, he's got double knife. Uh, I don't know. It looks yeah. kind of like it. Dude, Little. literally, it's, Go. it's so fresh, dude. There was a seal on that fish. Look at me. I thought something grabbed it for a second there, but it he shot out of the water. Tagged out. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Fresh bleeder. He was already bled before he got there to the boat. <laughs> That's a good one. Sean. Here you go, Sean. Barely little yeah. 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 Pandemonium! Yeah. Pandemonium! Oh, he's tricking him. He's tricking him. This is a vet move, everybody. Vet, vet move. move. Look at him. He's doing the Gomer pile reel. Ooh, oh, that's a shiny. Oh, my. oh! Almost killed a guy. No. He almost killed a guy. That one looked really nice. That was no. like a twin of the one we just lost, too. Definitely, been a, it definitely was a hatchery. Yeah. It's okay. Take care of that one. Gets another chance. Now that was really neat. Grabbed him in the hands. 
You barely, you just reached down to open up the rod holder here. Went and like, well, just barely put the rod in it and fish on. And then fish off. Oh, there it is, there it is. Sean, 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 get. All right, it's your time to shine, Sean. Third time to charge. Third time. Faster, faster, faster. Uh-oh, don't cramp up on me, don't cramp up on me. Deep breath. Keep going, keep going, keep going down. Step back. Front seat driver. Ooh, it's a big one. It's your big one. Oh, it's your big one. It's your big one. Love his uncle. Oh, let's kill the guy again. Stinker. You didn't want him anyway. That's what it kind of looked like, right? Yeah. It's all right. Sean just knew better. Quick release. Let's see some comments below. I'll start rooting for him. He needs your help. He needs your thumbs ups and he needs your comments. Like. The more likes, I'll land more fish. Yeah, tell him, tell him how you feel. Sean, Sean. <laughs> it's, it's on there. So the thing is here is the plan is to get some drinks and some Bloody Marys after this. And I really think Sean is just trying to look out for our own health. Oh, on the fall. Captain's got one back there now. Captain. Captain. Who's going to on the net? Who's going to on the net? Who's going to get theirs in first? The race to the finish. Sheer chaos. Oh god, oh god. Oh, oh perfect, Sean did it again. I, I did it. It's okay, we're going back to this one. It was a wild Yeah. It was a, it was a wild Yeah. Very, very tense moment back of the boat. Very tense. Is that a hatchery at all? Very, very tense. Oh god. Captain's on. Captain's on. Now, guys, if you're enjoying this episode, this man right here, Brandon Powers, Finn and, was it Finn and Feathers? Finn and Feathers Guide Service, and it obviously is on the fins today. Not used to reeling with my right hand. Oh! Aha! Success! Whack a ball! Come back with a vengeance! Oh yeah! Putting on some. Good meats there. Good meats. This is for Sean. Oh. Come on, Sean. Sean, Sean. Little wild jack. Huh? I have confidence in him. He's a focus face. He looks like he's better fish. This is a focus face of a man with something to lose. <laughs> Good up, uncle. Uncle's on. Hence he's high. Focus is low. Focus is focus is low. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Comments below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Interact, do something. Oh, ooh, wild. There it is. Uh oh, Ooh. what's happening? Ooh. What's happening? Just took off. Oh, oh, he's coming back. He's a coming back. Oh, I can smell it already. It's Tuli. Nice <laughs> 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 It is a hatchery. Woo Cocktails! Woo! All around. <laughs> yeah, boys. Right here. Yeah, Sean. We got it. Good job. All right, I'm gonna. Wow, that thing's sticking the shoulders. Take the lead off. She's sticking the shoulders and the hips. I'll take that. There it is. Look at that blue back. It don't get much prettier than that. Ready to go, Shonzo. Sixth right. try. Sixth try. That is a cool looking fish.
Hey everyone, so I'm sitting in Sean's RAV4 right now. If you don't know who Sean is, Sean's our camera guy. We would not be able to do anything without him. He truly is a part of the Addicted family and we're blessed to have him and we love the guy. And so he told me a couple days ago, like, hey dude, I've been having issues with my brakes on my RAV4. So I'm like, hey, why don't you just let me have it and I'll just take it and get it fixed for you as a little bonus. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deck out a bunch of stuff on his car. So this is his current car. He doesn't really have anything really at all done to it. It's all pretty much stock, as you can see, stock rims. The front windows aren't tinted. Just basically a stock RAV4. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it not stock. Basically, I'm just gonna take his car and I'm gonna do a ton of stuff to it, and then we're gonna surprise him with it. So first up is the window tinting, and uh, here we go. I'm excited to do this for Sean. Like I said, love the kid to death. Wouldn't be able to do what we do without him. So everyone down in the comments, Give a thank you to Sean. Give a thumbs up for the videos because Sean is the one that makes all these things come together and we appreciate him. So let's uh, let's pay it forward and give him some stuff back for being such an awesome guy and do some stuff to his car for him. So here we go. All right, everyone. It is done with the tint. That place was freaking fast. If you guys are in the Battleground Vancouver area, Excel window tinting. They did a really, really good job. Super fast. Fit me in without even an appointment. Put a visor on there for him. Step one. Window tinting, check. Now, we're sitting in the parking lot. Les Schwab. Okay, here it is, the big reveal. Boom, there is Sean's new wheels and tires for his RAV4. Look at this thing, dude. Freaking turned out fire. He's gonna be so freaking pumped. Look at how sick it looks. We just left Les Schwab, got him some wheels and tires. Now we're getting him some oil change going here. The dude in Battleground here at the Point S. These guys are always awesome. So if you guys need your oil change and you live local, come down to these guys. They're hooking Sean up right now, changing his oil. Gonna make it look nice. Make it look good. Running Sean's car through the car wash now. Here we go, getting him all nice and clean. And then I'm gonna spend some time on my own cleaning his car because it's definitely needs an interior cleaning so I'm gonna spend some time today cleaning it out maybe try to get him some seat covers I don't know yet but we'll just see we'll surprise you guys all right here we are at AutoZone shout out to them they hooked me up here I got new rotors new brake pads for them cabin air filter spark plugs whole bunch of little goodies here for them so now I'm gonna take it to my buddy Neil's shop and we're gonna get some mechanic work done on this thing so let's ride this right here is my buddy Neil. How's it going, dude? Good, man. How you doing? Good. Good seeing you. So this is Sean's little RAV right here. I got, I got the front struts, the rear shocks, all four rotors, brake pads, spark plugs, and a cabin air filter. Okay. If we see anything else, we'll let you know. Yeah, just if you just look at everything else. The oil already got changed. Thanks, Neil. Not a problem. Okay guys, we're finally done. Neil got the got the job completed here at his shop. What's the name of your shop again, just so people know? Neil's Auto Service. Neil's Auto Service. It's in Dollar's Corner, guys, when you guys are driving down 502, if any of you guys are in the area. But what'd you end up doing to this thing? We put all new brakes on it, all new struts, all new shocks, a uh, set of spark plugs. We changed all the fluids, the diffs, the transmission. Uh, we went through and checked it out. It's ready to go on a road trip. Awesome. Awesome, appreciate it, Neil. Well, thanks a lot for the help, dude. Anytime, buddy. And like I said, guys, Neil's been working on my cars now for years. Every single vehicle that I own, I trust him with it. So I'll drop a link down in the description so you guys with a phone number and stuff. If you guys got any auto work done, check out Neil's auto service. Thanks, dude. All right, everyone, now we're at the gas station. I figured we're doing all this stuff to his car. We might as well give him a full tank of gas when we give it back to him. So I'm gonna fill this bad boy up. Okay, now it's time to do a full detail on this thing. Sean's a pretty busy guy. He's constantly making videos, constantly editing, so I have a feeling it doesn't leave him a lot of time to clean his car. I'm about to go ham on it and clean the hell out of this thing for you, so let's get to work. All right, as you guys can see, Sean is definitely a fisherman. He had all this stuff in the back of his truck, so I'm gonna try to organize it all for him. He also had a WeatherTech mat back here on top of his um, his RAV4 mat. So I'm gonna try to clean all this out as best I can and then spraying off his his WeatherTech mat right now. I'm gonna get some soap on it and scrub it nice and clean, but making some progress, making some progress. All right, everyone. 
Sean. I'm about to pull up to Sean's house. It took me about five and a half hours to detail this car. Again, I'm not no professional detailer, but I tried to do a super good job on it and get every little nook and cranny spotless on this thing. So about five and a half hours to detail it inside and out. I hope he freaking loves it. I just want to say, Sean, I appreciate you. I think all the addicts out there watching our videos appreciate you. Jordan appreciates you. You truly are a part of the family, buddy. So I hope you like this little surprise that I did for you. Time for the reveal. What's up, dude? What's up? You ready to see your car? New tires? That's not all, dude. Did you notice that I detailed it? It took me five and a half hours to detail your car. Open the inside. Well, don't open that door yet. That's another surprise I gotta tell you. So don't look back there yet. Don't look back there yet. What? I got you new seat covers. I got you WeatherTech floor mats to match your back. I fully detailed the inside. He got, you got new front struts, new rear shocks, new brakes all the way around. All the fluids are changed, front differential, rear differential, transmission fluid. And then if you go back here, got you a spare tire cover so it doesn't look so stupid on the back with your stock spare tire. I got you a nice little organizer system. Wow. Organize your whole thing. I got everything organized in there. The cool thing about it too is it has like a little cooler that goes in there with it. So you can like put your coon shrimp, you can put your coon shrimp or whatever. Those, that's your clothes that I just put in there. Um, and then I took this mat out and like cleaned it really good completely. And then I just like detailed the whole inside like majorly. I got you a brand new deck that comes with a reverse camera, a sub, an amp, basically everything you need to install it and my friend's gonna put it in for you next week and i've been filming the whole thing from day one i filmed everything i just i thought you were just gonna do the brakes <laughs> i thought i was gonna do the brakes well i surprised you dude hope you like it I, I got weather techs in the back too to match and then i hope you like those wheels i yeah. picked them out this is about as excited as you're gonna ever see sean everyone kind of like I think he is. I think this would happen. I think he's in shock. Oh, I tinted the windows. Oh, yeah, I, just, I just noticed that. I tinted the windows as well. It's like a new car. Yes, sir. All right, dude. Well, thank you. Thanks for all the hard work. Thanks for being part of the addicted family. Couldn't do what we do without you, buddy. Well, everyone, what a day out there with Brandon Powers. And I want to say it again, we only really mentioned it one time in this video. If you guys want to get out with him, it's called Finn and Feathers Outfitters, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure it's called Finn and Feathers, but look him up online. Brandon Powers, he's a wonderful guide. He's right there in the loop with, with Cam and Popov and everybody else out there on the water that we film with all the time. So if you want a good guide, check him out this fall. Brandon Powers, thank you very much for an awesome day. But enough with the chibber jabber about fishing. It's time to eat some of it. So what we're doing tonight is we're doing salmon burgers. So. These are a little bit different than we normally do. I'm not doing like the, the carcass meat. I'm gonna do the actual fillets here. I'm gonna take this little piece out. This is just cartilage that comes off the spine when you fillet them. Then I'm gonna just chunk this up into fours. This is just a nice little tail piece from that big fish Sean got. So thank you very much, Mr. Sean, for feeding us tonight. And there's our two perfect burgers. Just the right size of meat. Not too much, not too little and a little bit of extras for some appetizers. So we're gonna go a little garlic and pepper, burger seasoning. I'm gonna go very light on this because really I'm gonna make a, a tartar sauce after this, which is gonna add to a lot of the flavor of this. So I don't wanna go real heavy, not too salty on this, but once I'm gonna put this on the barbecue, we're gonna barbecue these just like burgers. A lot of that seasoning will fall off and that flavor from the, from the grill itself will start to soak into that meat. So here we go. A little smoky wood fire and garlic seasoning here. Let's go light on that. And that's got a really nice smoky smell to it. There we have it. Get these bad boys ready for the grill. Ooh, but last but not least, one more ingredient. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. 
go light on that, roll it over, get a little of that excess on there. That's what I like to do when I make these burger recipes is I like to treat the meat, whatever meat it is, just like it's a beef burger. So this is about the same seasoning I would put on a normal burger. A little bit of garlic, a little pepper, a little bit of that Worcestershire, which gives it that really nice smoky and savory smell and flavor. And we're ready to go on the grill. So we're gonna cook this a little bit differently today. My special lady friend got me this as seen on TV grill top griller thing. And we're gonna see how it works. A lot of times I don't like to throw my any of my fish right on the top of the barbecue, whether it's skin on or not, because it starts to fall through the cracks. Especially when that stuff starts to get done, it'll fall apart and start flaking down and getting into your grill and makes it a pain in the butt to cook. So I'm excited to try this thing. It's supposed to be grill top safe. It should be pretty perfect for what we're doing here. is get our tartar sauce ready, which is the other most important part of this recipe, in my opinion. I'm gonna go some really fine up chopped, some fine chopped up pickles, relish style. Toss those in the bowl. Scoop of mayo, a little mustard, Ketchup, small scoop of my ghost cream hot sauce, small dash, oh, large dash of cowboy seasoning. Give her a good mix. And there we go, we have our dressing. Key is first though, gotta give it a taste. Perfect. Okay, let's go check the grill. Just in the nick of time. Ooh, I actually cooked it really nicely. Got just a little bit of char on there just for flavor. Should be good. Mmm, tastes amazing. And I tell you, cooking that on the sheet like this really adds a nice flavor because you're not adding any oil or butter to this. So I'm getting just that pure salmon flavor and that's actually really, really good. So time to get our cheese and our buns ready. Now today I did some fancy sourdough buns from my favorite place ever, Kalama Sourdough Breads. These things look amazing. It's actually my first time trying these, so very suiting that it's going with some fresh local fish. Fresh bread, fresh fish. I like it. So we go with some finely chopped up aged cheddar on these. Keep it fancy, keep it classy. And then one piece of space cheese, so they're quite the opposite. We'll have to do a taste test challenge here. Is the space cheese better? Or is the H cheddar? Space cheese on one, H cheddar on these ones. Ta-da! Here we go. It's chow time, everyone. Ooh, that's a heavy burger. I would say maybe using a little bit smaller salmon, like maybe a coho or something for this recipe would be a little more adequate. But you see how amazing that turned out. I'm actually glad we got that little char on it. It's gonna add a really nice grilled flavor to it. Got our melty cheese. Mm. Can't beat space cheese. Let's go make our burger. Okay, here it goes. Gonna go a nice, heavy helping of my tartar. Man, it smells good in this house right now, everyone. Beautiful. A couple of picks. Some onion. A little slice of the mater. And my favorite part, nice big crunchy piece of romaine. Right on top. It's chow time. Look at how beautiful that is. Mmm. Look at all those colors. 
Now that's phenomenal. Honestly, really don't even taste like salmon, surprisingly enough. That blend of flavors, that crispiness, the crunchiness, that really nice tender meat of the salmon. Mm, with that nice char on it, amazing. Now that is one to try at home, everyone. Delish. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Okay, well it's about time for Mr. Sean to eat because this is his fish, so thank you all so much for being here this week. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more fun ones just like it, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, hit subscribe, turn those bells on. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below. I'll give you the comment of the day just like this guy right here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.